Filipinos are known all over the world as compassionate and dedicated people. So it is no surprise to meet successful kababayans across the globe. A lady who lives in Leonburg, a town south of Frankfurt, is one of the many Pinoy success stories here in Germany. Hard work and dedication, plus a deep love for helping others, gave her a chance to share to the world her value of paying it forward. Hello, good talk. My name is Juliana Attilo Schlotterbeck. I am 65 years old. I'm formerly from Cebu, and I live here in Germany for 20 years already. Before I came, I was in the garment industry. I was even a vice president for the garment chamber in Cebu. But still, there's a lot of things that, that stopped me from really going through or the flow was not that, that good. That was a bit frustrating and you work with government. I thought, um, if it's not for me, then I, I, will not, I will not stay. Nobody really understood it because um, I was doing a lot of things in Cebu, but in, inside of me, I was, um, I was searching for something more. It's the adventurous side of me. Europe had attracted me so much. I wondered, I could live there, I, I would fit there. The opportunities, I just prayed, I said, Lord, if it's for me, let it happen, and it, and it did, and um, here I am. Like any migrant, Georgie, as she's fondly called by family and friends, began her European life doing menial and clerical work. Adjusting to her new home was no easy ride, but she persevered and poured her energy in learning as much as she can in this foreign country. I find satisfaction wherever I am, but um, it never stays at a standstill. I always on search of something. I also joined a lot of groups, you know, groups for, for women's group. Um, I did a choir, I helped in the church, I do the flower deco and all this things. Just li a little of everything. And through these venues, I'm able to meet a lot of people. Through her own charm and at her own pace, Georgie earned the respect of the people around her. She was born to be a leader. She organized many projects within her community. Armed with her skills and knowledge for community development, she became a consultant in the region, giving advice to the local government for their town's needs. I think I'm always restless. Till the end of my time, I will always be restless. I will always find something to do. And I know when I'm old, I will still be doing something, even if I will be sitting down only. <laughs> I will always find something to do. When I started the NGO in um, 2008, the Hand in Hand Deutschland Philippine and AFO. Basically, the encompassing thing is to foster understanding between Philippines and Germany. But then in the very um, core of that work, we started doing work with the children. Summer camp, that was the concept. We can teach children how to do creative work. It's, it's spiritual in a sense, but then it's, it brings out the creativity of a person. Not just the, the mind, but it develops your spirit. And that's what I thought um, I could, you know, give as a gift and we met my friends we organized it and we went to later and do the projects and that's always every summer starting 2008. It's a natural tendency for me to, to do social work yes. It entails a lot of energy because then um, like in my case I do a lot of things I in, get involved in a lot of things so it's a challenge for me and I thought oh I'd like to do that. <laughs> Though she finds it deeply satisfying doing outreach work through her creative programs, Georgie admits she could not have done it without having a strong mind and body. So I just do my own walking in the park. Light walking with a few hips sway, <laughs> lubricating the joints. Through regular exercise and the right food, which she loves to prepare in her own kitchen, she can go through a very active day doing the things she's passionate about. But there's one more thing she lovingly shares. I think I have to put out the secret. Because <laughs> they're always asking, ah, oh, you have so much energy. Yeah, uh, you know, I brush it off and said, yeah, of course. <laughs> it is really necessary to have supplements and a detox is very important. I got to learn about it when I was doing my projects in later. So I was traveling, bringing all the things, materials like paper and food and whatever. A tiring day, 
I started taking MX3. Uh, that's the reason why I could go on and, and do my work. Otherwise, I would have been, you know, dead tired. Yeah, I know it works. I know it works. Many have proven the wonders of this natural supplement. And Dr. Edwin Bian, medical consultant for DMI Medical Supply, explains how it works. MX3 is a natural food supplement. M stands for mangosteen, or its source from Garcinia mangostana, particularly the pericarp of the mangosteen. X stands for the santhone, which is the active ingredient. Now, inside the santhone, they have identified three active components, and that is the alpha, the beta, and the gamma mangosteen. That is why the number three. Our products does not contain any additives or synthetic chemicals in it. MX3 is low in sodium. That means people with hypertension does not have to be afraid of increasing their blood pressure. It is also fat and cholesterol free. Therefore, they will not be afraid that it will raise further their bad cholesterol in the blood. In fact, our MX3 will help lower down their LDL or the bad cholesterol. Studies have shown that it is very good for people with heart condition as well as hypercholesterol condition. Oh, MSP. Mm. <laughs> like I said, I've kept it a secret, so um, it's like partners in crime. I do a lot of things. I hardly can say no when something's exciting. So I always try to find a time for those things. And I think sometimes it's too much. And without my MX3, ha, I would not be able to do that. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I would be dead tired at the middle of the day. So um, I think that helps me a lot, in a lot of ways. Oh, maraming salamat sa MX3. Dankeschön. Vielen herzlichen Dank. That's a, a lot of love and thanks. <laughs>